Guys, today is a day that I've talked about for literally the past decade. So it's getting to be close to the beginning of summer here in Michigan. And that's a very short time summer, but it's a very, very nice season. I think Michigan probably has, I'm going to say it, the nicest summers in the country. Great weather. It's, uh, it's hard to beat. We got a lot of water here too. And you think summer, you think water, you think... Things that float on the water. Things that go fast. Jet skis? Maybe. How about boats? Yeah. Today, we're digging out this... Oh, man. <laughs> I just got to show you this to you guys. I mean, I've literally... The past 10 years, I've wanted to dig this thing out. You know, we've done some... Got some other stuff running out here at the building. There's been nothing more I've wanted to get running than this boat. Take a look at it. Well, here it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a guess at the year on this. I don't know exactly. I think it's a 1989 Seabold Eagle 265, 26 and a half foot unit. And uh, my dad picked this thing up, I believe in the late 90s. I think the story was the motor that was in it froze and broke. It was a stockish deal that uh, was in it. And he put a 468 big block Chevy in it. Had a big block in it before, but again, stock unit. So it's nothing too crazy, but it makes some good power. When we had this thing out, I believe it did uh, high 60s, 70 maybe. So it, it's a good running boat. Take a look back here. It's got a Bravo drive on it. Pretty nice piece. This thing's been sitting here for 17 years. Look at this. Look at the tag. Maybe, maybe you saw it when I was back here, but, uh, yeah, it was winterized September 21st, 2006. It was actually winterized at Wilson Motorsports, which is where RRUTV is headquartered at. So if you guys need any UTV work done, go to RRUTVshop.com. All my contact information is there. Happy to work on your guys' stuff. Or if you have any boat stuff or need any, you know, automotive machining work, just let us know. We'll get you hooked up. But back to the boat. So we're going to dig this thing out today. There's a lot of stuff in the way to get this thing out. And pretty much today we're going to get it out and take it over to the Wilson Motorsports shop. And then over the next couple days, we'll start diving into this thing and seeing what it needs to get running. So really want this thing to be in the water for the 4th of July weekend. That's a huge weekend up here in Michigan. A lot going on. Would love to have it out there. So that's my goal. I've got about a week and a half to get that done. So I think some things we're going to have to address on this is going to be probably belts, uh, the drive belts, fuel lines, going to have to pump any remaining fuel out of this thing. That's going to be super nasty. Carburetor is probably going to need some attention. And I'm kind of concerned with the valve spring. So this motor hasn't rolled over literally once in 17 years. So best case scenario, it needs that stuff. Worst case scenario, it needs a whole heck of a lot more. So uh, Stevie over at the shop, he's got a moisture meter. We're going to be checking some uh, critical areas of the boat, like the transom floor areas for moisture to see if it's going to need any attention there. Obviously, if some of that stuff is bad, my plans for 4th of July aren't going to come to fruition. But if we can get this thing out on the water running, uh, in a week and a half, I mean, I'd be super excited for that. So that's the goal. Right now, we're going to start moving some stuff out of the way to uh, get this thing out of here. That's going to be, like I said, a big project in itself. I mean, stuff piled on there, cars in here, parts, all sorts of stuff. So set up a little time lapse for that, and then we'll uh, yoink this thing out and see it out in the sunlight. It's literally been in here in this spot 17 years. It hasn't moved. So... Uh, I don't know how the tires on the trailer are actually holding air. Probably going to need some new tires. That's to be expected. But overall, this boat was really cool. We didn't use this a lot when I was a kid. But when we did, it was a ton of fun. We used to go tubing behind this thing. Uh, it just had a really good time in it. And it's, I think for as old of a boat it is, it's obviously in really good shape. I don't know the exact hours, but it's in really good condition. So I've always liked the way this thing looks. It ran great. So... Really need to get this thing out and get it back to where it used to be. So I'm super excited about this. I haven't been this excited about a project in 
long time. I've recently been out on the water on a few test drives um, for boats we were working on at the shop, just verifying, um, you know, concerns and repairs. And it just really got me in the mood to get this thing out. So again, super excited to get this out and work on it, get it out on the water. Let's get to it. Got this thing outside what's your guys initial impression on this thing i'm super pumped this thing looks great <laughs> dude she's a view i can't i can't believe how good a condition it's in still yeah it's uh doing sitting inside it turns out it's good for them not uh not letting them outside and rotting out you know the boots are good shift cable boots good yeah Did we not believe that yeah That's... we did a little preliminary inspection on the drive yeah it looks good shape looks great i cannot believe it 17 years that's nuts yeah, let's do a little walk around on this thing. So I think we're just going to plan on uh, giving her a little power wash before we even pull the cover off of it. So she's got a couple layers of dust on her. No surprise there. But man, it's uh, I just think it's just a good looking boat, you know? You guys let her sit this long? Yeah, it's a beaut. She's a unit. Like I said, I've been the past literal decade, 10 years... I've been wanting to get this thing out, and I've just made a bunch of excuses to not get it out. Ooh. And uh, done with excuses. There's no room for excuses around here anymore. Definitely not. So, yeah, we'll check out the other side. Good shape. A couple small little imperfections. Maybe it'll buff out, maybe not, but no big deal at the end of the day. So I think the plan now is we'll get it hooked up to the truck. And we'll take it over to the shop, and uh, next couple days we'll pop it open and get her washed up and get her looking spick and span. Maybe the fuel pumped out of her, maybe? Yeah, I, I kind of talked about that. So belts probably, fuel lines, fuel needs to come out of it. Oh, yeah. Do some uh, mechanical inspection on the engine, yeah, valve water, rings and stuff. Water tires, pump. Maybe. Yeah, water pump, that's a big one. For sure. Yeah, tires, tires are gone, so I don't mind buying uh new tires to avoid having a blowout blowouts aren't cool so not fun nope uh, nice. yeah we'll get this thing hooked up and get it on out of here all right a couple days later we're pulling the boat up front we're about to give her a little bath start working on this thing pretty excited about that sucker looks fast just sitting there all right, we got it on the cement. We got the power washer out. We're about to clean this thing up a little bit. First wash in 17 years, man. This is this is exciting. I just can't get over how cool this boat looks. I think it just looks super sleek. I mean, there's a lot of boats here. Yeah, you know, power boats down there. But I mean, for this vintage, this boat just looks really good in my opinion. Super excited to get it washed up and get all this crud off there. So we'll get to that right now. See how she's looking after the wash. Oh yeah, John's hard at work making her look pretty. We got some boat soap. We're just trying to find a bucket. Put this in. Soap her up. She'll be looking good in no time. This thing's looking pro. What do you think? Oh, she's a beauty. Slick Rick up here washing his boat. Looking good, buddy. Yeah. Wow, she is shining up pretty nice. A little bit of wax, and man, this thing will be looking good. That's what we like to see. A little walk around. It's just a preliminary washing. Man. All 
I'm excited to see in the engine bay. That's what I'm really excited for. That wood cleaned up nice. Very nice. Maybe have to throw a little uh, poly on it. Maybe a little stain, but woo. I'm ready. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I would say after that wash job, this thing's looking two times as good. And it was already looking really good, I feel. It's looking great. They're I'm super happy. Yeah. I mean, there are a couple spots, you know, you can see like a little bit of a water line there. That'll buff out, no big deal. A couple small scratches, that'll hopefully buff out. But overall condition of this, I'd say very good. I've seen a lot newer boats look a lot worse <laughs> that's for sure dude i would i would go so as far as to say the majority of newer boats don't look this good yeah i'd have to agree with you there <laughs> for sure all right you guys peeling this this yeah. cover off we're gonna go inside take a peek all right a shocking turn of events the wind is back that's crazy never heard that stuff before all right, let's grab a ladder real quick here somewhere. Oh, right there. Perfect. Oh, double ladder. Two ladders. Double ladder. Yep. Okay. Interior uh, looking pretty good. That's a little dirty, but that's no big deal. That's to be expected. We got some tubes in here. Last time we were out in this thing. We're tubing behind this thing. We're cruising. So we'll get those out. But, man, what do you guys think? Looking mint. Yeah, not bad at all. No rips, no tears. Yeah, very Looks clean. Like, like the up here. definition of a barn clean. Yeah. A couple stains on the seat. That'll clean up. No big deal. Oh, is this material? Uh, material's popping a little bit there. It's to be expected. Yeah. It's the Carpet looks clean, dude. Yeah, put that all the way. Wow. Not too shabby. Super. We'll see. No Floor signs. soft? Seems alright. That's to be determined, I suppose. So I was in here probably eight years ago because we had some tools in here that were stored that I needed to get. Ooh, ooh. Floor does not feel great. Oh, it's yeah. questionable. Yeah, it'll be all right for now. Yeah, we got a moisture meter, right? Like, we can, can we oh, use yeah. that on the floor? Yeah, we uh, Or is that more for... That's uh, more for the fiberglass, oh, like, okay. on the back and the transom area okay. and well, maybe the stringers. some sort of reading at least. I don't yeah. know, though, because it's not going to be right next to the wood. Right. So. I don't know if it'll transfer through the carpet. We'll have to see about that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, instrument panel. That looks pretty good. It's a little up there in the cutty. A little bit of mildew on the steering wheel. That'll clean up. No big deal. Oh, down here. Dang, look at those old school Gatorade bottles. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Very minty in here. Super clean. Oh, wow, you guys. <laughs> How much to drink the Gatorade? Oh, man. That's nasty. That's, that's nasty stuff there. Gross. Wow, that's super nice down here. Already got some skis in oh, here. Even. Super tuner. Nice. Oh, so I think it was this seat here. And when I went to get the tools, like it had pulled, the screws had pulled out. So we'll need to address that. I don't know if there's some bunk wood in there or what. I don't know if we can feel. You get some more snap on tools. Yeah. So this thing's dead. And there's a access hole. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Right there to get to the battery. So we need to hook the uh, jumpers up so we can lift the hatch and take a look at the engine so i think we'll do that probably right now we'll go get the battery charger and or a vehicle or something we got cables here that are pretty long whatever you guys think will work the best yeah either one really yeah i don't know what do you guys think i think it's looking pretty good so far 
very We couldn't good. ask for better. Yeah. Way better than expected. Really? Yeah. Way better. 17 I'm, years? Inside storage. Like this good for 17 years without touching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's All right, well, it. let's, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this engine hatch opened up. Dude, where'd my hat go? Right there. Oh, right there. It's a good hat. Wheeling Speed R&D, baby. She hooked up? Yes. Let's see what she does. Where's that at? Engine hatch. Engine, engine lift. lift. Ooh. Anything on the gauges? Uh-oh. No response. Hmm. Yeah, you take a look in there, see if it uh, should be on there. You need a flashlight or something? No. Unhook it from there, Scotty. Okay. Unhook it from the Jeep. Okay, John found that the ground cable actually wasn't hooked up, so he apparently did that. I don't know why he unhooked it in the first place, but... Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Still nothing. Nothing, eh? No good. Yeah, we got zero. You sure the hot's hooked up? Yeah, let me, let me check that out. <laughs> All right, John also decided to disconnect the positive battery cable that uh, I had hooked up, so. Still nothing, man. Uh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Is there a hidden battery switch on it? No. Yep. Yep. You're going to have to help lift it up. Nothing? More than it was, I feel like. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Baby. Help it. She doesn't lose. Wow. There she is. That's Look at all the clean, room. Dude. That is she's, clean. That is clean. <laughs> Wow, that's nice. So we might be rocking with a little oil on the in the that's bills, water from us washing it. Look at there's sure. even a mitt in there for us to wash it again. Dang. <laughs> we were not on the hot. <laughs> we were not on the hot, dude. That's a that's a you problem, actually. Dude, that was, you negative. said that that was the hot. That's the negative. Yeah. <laughs> That's the negative voice. Well, <laughs> it's like that sometimes. Oh, it'd be like that for sure. I don't know who put those batteries in there like that. It wasn't me. <clears throat> oh. What do you think? Why can't you reach that? Why do you have a hook down the ground? <laughs> Ricky told me that that was the, the hot. Since when do you listen to me anyways? Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Well, this is it, guys. Single big block. There's a lot of room in here. I like that. Dude, normally you're breaking your neck and then yeah, you right. got room for days. This is a simple unit here. Mm-hmm. That's fresh. What is this, main fuel line? Is that? Yep. Think that's junk? No. No? Good. You think that's good? Yeah. Somebody took the time to put a wrap on it? Hell yeah, let's leave it. Put a water pump in it and run it. And that's it? Pumped fuel out of it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wow. Power steering, full. Let's pull that dipstick out see how she's looking. What's the date on that oil filter? That would be the water separator, not an <laughs> oil filter. Slow motion, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at that. There's top priority right there. Quadrajet. That's all you need. Dependability. Dependability. Ooh, that line's pretty hard. Hey, you guys should have this off in no time. Oh, yeah. It's got oil in it. That's a bonus. I'll be honest, it's super clean in here. Dude, I can't Super clean. Cleaner than 95% of the boats we work on here. 
not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, belts belts don't look bad. Are they hard? No. <laughs> they look pretty good, actually. Well, the company that winterized this, props to them. Oh, six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably due for one, I'd say. Perfect. She's looking good. Very Water impressed pump. here. Get her running. Oil change. Some fresh fuel. This is your classic no big deal. You guys be down to water tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Super strong. Sweet. Okay, just lower the drive. We're going to check the fluid in the drive. I think we're going to start pumping the fuel out of it. Mm-hmm. And that'll probably, what else can we do today that's simple-ish? Uh, we could probably take the water pump off. See what oh, we, yeah. What we need to order for yeah, tomorrow. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, so the, I mean, was it the impeller just gets deteriorated, yeah, hard, out. yeah. And you don't want a chance. I mean, all the other rubber's been good on this, but if you have the impeller get hard and a piece of it breaks off and goes through your cooling system, then you gotta worry about back flushing it. And yeah, it ain't worth it. You don't wanna have to chase all those problems down, so it's just better, some preventative maintenance. Yeah, so that's, that's down, down there. So that's not a huge deal to get off. Shouldn't be too hard. You just gotta pop these belts off and pull that out. It's your classic, no big deal. All right, we're pumping the fuel out, and uh, she's looking not a great color. It's like orange. Yeah, that looks a little right. Oh, man. No, that's the right move. Get rid of that junk. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So we had like quarter tank, so that's probably about 20 gallons we're going to have to pull out of this. So we'll be here for a little bit. We got slow motion deep in the pit. He just got the water pump off. Came oh. out not too bad. There she is. So where's the, uh, what do we got to do? Take off that, this piece right here and the impellers in there. Yep. Take those, what, four or five bolts out? Yep, that's it. Can you see in there at all? Anything uh, suspect or not really? Um, there could be some rubber in there potentially. Slow motion down there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got he's a terrorist. All right, we'll pop this thing apart, see how that impeller looks, and hopefully we got one. This can go back on and be in really good shape. Oh, yes, bracket. Why don't you go rinse it off real quick? No problem. Ooh, where'd it go? Hoopy. Yeah, that's a bad one there. Huh. Mm. Yep, that's why we took it apart. Missing pieces part off the impeller. More than too. All right, we went feeling around in here, and you can kind of see this is the oil cooler on the side of the engine, and you can kind of see that piece of rubber right there. That's the piece of the impeller that we were missing. So I got a pick in my hand. I'm gonna dig that out, oh, it's yeah. and we'll be good to go. Oh, look at that—that's a giant piece. Yuck! All right, so it's the next day. Got the hatch open again. We're getting new batteries in here. Stopped at our local Bay City Auto Zone. They got us some new batteries, bigger ones than what were in here. These are Group 31s. So we're putting new battery hold downs in here because, well, if you guys saw, the batteries actually weren't held down. They were just kind of wedged in the boxes and the cables were the only things holding them down. That's not good. So we're gonna get the new battery hold downs installed. Got to drill, a, use the self-tapping screws. Screw in the base, put the battery in, top piece, 
the studs, the nuts, that'll be an easy project. Also picked up a battery shutoff switch for when we're not using the boat so there's no draw on the batteries, keep those things alive. And at some other point, we're also going to be installing some remote terminals underneath the seat. So in the event that the batteries are dead, we can jumpstart this very easily. Not having to reach through this little hole that's underneath the seat there. That's a huge pain. Or uh, like we did before, just use the power probe and energize the ram for lifting the hatch. So we're going to throw the batteries in right now. And we got a couple fuel lines I'll show you guys that we're going to replace. Just uh, sitting around for 17 years. They've kind of deteriorated. Don't really want to mess with those. I'll take a look at those real quick. And uh, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward. Scott wanted to get some uh, food for dinner. That's nice. Excited for that. It's just a good day. This thing, uh, very possible, could be running tonight. I'm excited for that. So, so. let me show you these fuel lines and then uh, put the batteries in and we'll be on to the next project. So, as to be expected after sitting this long, I mean, you can see this thing's all pretty dimpled, just uh, in bad shape. This line very hard don't really trust that so just those two fuel lines pretty uh pretty simple but i still can't get over just how clean this engine compartment is it looks really nice and it was nice when i had to lay in there and uh dig out that piece of impeller from the oil cooler i just uh didn't get all nasty it was super nice and this mirror is pretty cool too it's uh it could come in uh could come in use for, for a lot of things Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little Windex on there. Oh, yeah. Totally That's right all up. you need. Yep. All right. We've got both of our batteries mounted. We just have this one hooked up for right now. We still need to run cables from both batteries to the switch, which we're going to mount in the center there. The disconnect switch, that is. We've got a couple new gas lines here. This one going down to the fuel pump. This one's just joining two hard lines. That's all good. And so we need to get fuel in this thing because we pumped all of it out. But... Uh, John's just gonna bump the key real quick and see if it rolls over. We're not gonna try and start it or anything. We don't have water hooked up, no gas, but we're just gonna see if it'll uh, turn over. Yeah, Whoa! Oh yeah. Well, she's free, boys. Well, it's free in at least a little bit of uh, rotation. Yeah, that's a good set oh. on there. Good start. All right. Is the is the drive still up? All right, well, let's drive this thing down to the gas station and put uh, the first of many gallons of gas in this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's got a big tank, Some dude. fresh old 93. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. There's a lot of buttons to work here. Jeez, oh, man. Should we get that uh, squirt bottle and fill the carburetor up, you think? All right, you got the water? Yeah. Here we go. She's cranking. All right, I guess we're going to pull the uh, spark arrestor off the top and me, fill uh, the carburetor with some fuel and try her again. She should light off. Deep. All right, we got some gas in her. Mm. We think it's gonna start right up. I think oh, she'll yeah. roll right <laughs> over. <laughs> Ripping. All right, we'll wait for slow motion to grab the water, and it'll be time. It'll be time. Okay, here we go. Stevie coming in with the facts. Oh, Stevie might have been right. I think so. Stevie might have been right. Oh boy, here we go. Water still going?
Heck yeah. Got oil pressure. Tax working. Jeez, oh man. No leaks that I can see so no far. No leaks? Good. No leaks. Nice. Looking good. Easy. Yep. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, we still got, look at that bilge pump. We got to remember that. <laughs> yeah, before we take her out, for sure. Wow. Nice. to do it for this video we're just doing an oil change on this quick changing the water separator getting ready to take this thing out on the water it's just about ready to go so that's going to be within the next couple days make sure you guys stick around for that look for that video and i'm just super glad to get this thing out and get it out on the water it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm glad you guys are a part of it i'm glad these guys are a part of it i'm glad to be a part of it i'm glad everyone's a part of it so uh as i said earlier this boat was winterized in september of 2006 here at this very location probably in this exact spot wilson motorsports here in bay city michigan so if you guys need any uh inboard work done on your boat wilson motorsports make sure to bring it by 17 years later thing fired right up done right appreciate your guys supporting this matter see you in a couple days